ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we are bringing Arma 3 back to the channel with a brand new series. In this series, we're going to be covering every single one of the available firing drills in Arma 3. I think these are a great tool for building muscle memory, not just when it comes to, you know, actual physical mouse and keyboard accuracy, but also things like leaning distance, stopping distance, just getting a general understanding for how the skeleton and hitbox of your actual character works in Arma 3 because that can be a bit frustrating sometimes and can allow you to have some really irritating moments when trying to clear small areas, engaging in CQB, wrapping around doorways, or even walking through doorways. These drills are going to help you improve in that area as well as a dozen other areas. Long range engagements, distant judgment, um, stamina, control, breathing. These drills do it all. And the more you play them, the better you're going to get at this game. And the more effective you're going to be when you're playing in single player or playing with your friends or even playing something as ridiculous and as, you know, lax as Wasteland can be at times. There's just a lot to learn from these drills and people overlook them. They're very well crafted. I'm extremely impressed by them. Bohemia has done a bang up job with them. I absolutely love playing them to death, and that's what we're going to be doing with this series. On top of that, this series is going to be interactive. I want you guys to participate and submit your times for each of the videos that you see. So today we're going to be looking at the very first drill in the red drills. Red drills are multi-gun, meaning that you're going to swap between your primary and the secondary during the course of the drill. Then once we're done with all three of these, we'll continue on to blue and orange. We're going to be doing one video per drill. I'm going to be doing a run-through of the drill before we actually run it on competitive. We'll run it a couple times probably, we'll talk about some of the harder points of the drill, and then like I said, at the end of the video I want to make sure that you guys who are playing Arma have given this a go, put your times in the comment section, snap a screen grab, you know, whatever you can do, a Gizio, an Imgurf, you know, link, whatever you can do to share your time, even if it's just typing it out, this isn't about a competition, it's just about seeing progression over the course of this series, and how much you improve with your times. And at the end of the serials, I'll post my best times for all of the trials because I'm going to be going back and playing them over and over. And my hope is that not only will I have reached gold on all of these trials, but all of you would have been able to reach gold as well. There's just a lot to learn from these trials. I love them to death, and I think they're a great way for new players and veteran players, people like myself who have 400 hours in the game, to just learn a little bit more about you know, shooting and movement and just being generally more effective in Arma. So... Be sure to do that at the end of this video. Go run red one and let us know your best possible time in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and kick it off though. We're gonna head right into this drill. We're gonna run through it on training once just so we can take our time. I'm not even gonna focus about time. I'm gonna talk over some of the more complicated elements of this particular drill. And then we'll go ahead and run it for real a couple times and then we'll do a sort of afterthought. So we're going to be running the 9mm Sting SMG or the Scorpion Evo, whatever you want to call it. And then we have our 9mm Rook backup pistol. So the first portion of this drill is all about leaning. There's also something else I would like to point out. Go ahead and restart it. Is that by default, when you boot up a lot of these drills, you're going to be in slow walks. So you're going to want to hit W and S together and disable that immediately. Because that's really going to screw with your time. It's also going to get on your nerves. Alright, so we're pushing into a leaning segment here. One of the things you really have to focus on because you're going to be judged on this when you're in competitive is staying inside of these shooting boxes. Every second you spend outside of a shooting box engaging a target is time added on to your final time. Of course, making your time slower, which you do not want. Swapping over to the pistol here for the interior portion of this drill. We've got a bonus target. You can tag that as well as the enemy if you're right about it. Down into a crouch here. See if we can't uh, grab a double kill there. Now I want to talk about this portion right here. This is very important, and this is what I'm talking about, building that muscle memory. Arma is very notorious for making it difficult to judge turning corners in first person. You may think, okay, I'm past this. Unlike most first person shooters, if you're not moving forward, you're going to pivot 100% on your feet, which means you're going to end up looking at this wall. So you need to do whatever works for you to make sure that you are pushing into the room and then turning. I find that Pushing in, immediately pulling up the iron sights is going to help you get good judgment. You can start to use the A or D key, depending on what direction you go, to strafe into the room and start engaging these targets. But make sure you are staying inside of the shooting box. Moving forward, we're going to be swapping back out to our 9mm Sting SMG here. As we push into one of the most difficult segments of the entire course. We're going to have to navigate this ridiculous bar thing, which isn't going to agree with the hitbox on our character at all. Engage the target before he gets to the end of that rail system. 
and then get ready to engage some targets downrange. Now there is a bonus target there. One thing I want to say about the bonus targets is if you're not comfortable with them and you find yourself wasting a lot of time getting on target or spending three or four shots to actually drop one, forget about them. Just focus on running the course and come back to them once you become more comfortable. Now one of the things you're seeing here, it's very easy to do this. I've done it and I've ran this drill about 15 times now. It's really easy to walk off this ledge and then to just slowly slide and lag off the side and completely wreck your perfectly good run. So be careful of that. Again, we're going to want to make sure we're staying inside of the shooting box, which is up on this ledge. Clear those bonus targets if possible. We got another lean corner here. Long range engagement. We're going to go ahead and sprint all the way down to the end here. Now, the nice thing about this is we can bring up our irons. We can actually walk this in and engage while still remaining in the shooting box if we're careful about it. Final two targets here, drop them and head on to the finish line. So very simple course with a lot of nuances. Obviously our time was terrible there, but some of the important things to look at are these bonuses that we've, these penalties that we've gained outside the shooting box. We got 0.8 seconds there. That's actually probably one of my best for being outside of the shooting box. That's really great. You want to keep it as low as possible. Zero if possible, but definitely under a second. Let's go ahead and retry that. We're going to switch over to competitive. We're going to run it for real. I'm going to be competitive. Just focus on this, try and do it as best as I possibly can here. And we'll talk about the aftermath when we're done. Here we go. So that wasn't a terrible time. It wasn't amazing. It was nowhere near my best. You saw the mistakes I made there. We got caught up in the bars and then we completely just lost our train of thought and ended up pushing out of the shooting box before we engaged those long range targets and that bonus target. Don't just throw the match though. You know, if you make a mistake, just try and recover from it and keep going. You're going to be able to just keep improving. When you start just throwing things and you run to the end of the course, you're wasting possible learning time. You're wasting moments where you could be educating yourself. Just keep running it like it never happened and then give it a retry and give it you know, just one more go, just one more go, just one more go, and keep adding on those one more goes until you start to settle in your groove. And what may seem like just repetition, obviously a part of it is repetition. You are just repeating the same thing over and over. You're going to get more comfortable with this specific course, but you're also gaining a lot of muscle memory that is going to be great in the other courses, in real scenarios when playing the game. Let's give this another go here. We're going to try and commentate this one. I like to try and uh, avoid using the red dot here when leaning. This is a really close target. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to tag that with just a little bit of point shooting. Drop out backwards and then rotate to push out here. Grab our pistol before we enter here if possible. Pop into the iron sights. See if we can get both of them. We got it nicely done there. I like to keep into the red dot here as I tuck down. If you time it right, you can get that double target again, pushing in red dot. Some of the things you want to look out, some of these targets have center masses that will give you an accuracy bonus if you can actually hit them. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be a nice little time reward if you can tag those. Not bad. That was nice rapid remove. Um, nice rapid removal of targets there. Up into the kneeling area. Kneel. Push out. Down. Let's try and grab this corner nice and tight. 
just barely hit that guy. No accuracy bonus going on that one. Not a bad time right now, though. Let's keep pushing. Not going to be my best, but not terrible nonetheless. We're going to have a sub 120 on this. Can't go wrong there. That's a bronze. Not a terrible time at all. Again, a lot of errors made there. Huge penalty for outside of shooting box. Uh, that was actually when I was going on top of that ramped area right after the kneeling segment. I was outside of the box engaging that second target. And we have five whole seconds. Um, that would have been a 112, sub 113. That would have been a really great solid time. We kind of threw that on that one. Let's go ahead and end it there though, guys. So make sure you guys participate in this. You know, if, you, if you're playing Arma, don't think you're better than this. You know, give these drills a try. They're not only... Are you going to learn from them? They are insanely fun. Honestly, I love this sort of stuff. I would kill to be able to run these sorts of drills in real life. This is just great stamina training. Um, it's great firearms training. It really genuinely is. And it's cool that this thing kind of, you know, exists in Arma. I love it. And that's one of the other things when I talk about stamina is let's take a look at some of these drills actually before we pop out of here. So we've got red one. You know, that's the one we just ran. Red two is actually a small course and then there's a driving portion to it before you get to a main course. Um, then we have this sort of castle run that is multi-gun as well this has a lot of medium to long range and close range targets this one's a lot of fun really love that one then we move on to blue we've got the tactical combatant stuff close quarters environments possible no shoot targets we've got a compressed course that's all about leaning and engaging from cover that's one of the earlier courses that was available in the game actually we've got a nighttime urban course using flashlights and night vision and then we've got a fog one all close quarters heavy morning fog you can see it's sort of in a lusher environment and then we have the marksman stuff. These are great. And these are really where you have to start focusing on that stamina conservation. You know, watching your fatigue because some of these marksman courses, specifically the second one, you get to the end of this, they want you to do some seriously long range shooting. And if you haven't paid attention to your fatigue and your stamina, you are not going to land any of those shots. So as you can see, a lot to be learned, a lot of benefits and a lot of rewards to be gained, reaped, however you want to say it. For running these drills i'm looking forward to the series and i'm looking forward to you guys posting your times be sure to do that in the comment section below let me know what you're running and let's make this a learning experience that we can experience together i'll see you guys in the next one